So if I'm in the shower or if I'm in the bath, he'll run up into the bathroom and he'll like freak out and he'll like stand on the edge of the tub and he'll like try to get me out of the bathtub because I think he thinks something's wrong with me. <laughs> because clearly why else would you take a bath if so unless something's wrong with you? He's like, it's my lizard. He knows when he wants things and he knows how he wants things. <laughs> he wants them exactly the way that he wants them. Excuse me. Those are mine. I, I just got this. Fergus. I literally just got home from the store like five minutes ago. Every morning I'll give him a raw egg and he knows that he's supposed to get one every morning. So if I'm not on top of things, try to like push me along and let me know, hey, it's time to do things the way that I want them. <laughs> His, uh, his personality is very sassy. Fergus has changed my life in, wow, a lot of ways. I originally got him as sort of like an emotional support animal. He has been tremendous in <laughs> doing that. He knows when I kind of need a little extra love and he'll just come up and snuggle with me and just kind of help me feel better and make me feel safe. He's very sweet, he's very loving. He is an incredibly sociable ferret. He just loves everyone that he meets. He adores them. My parents have one cat named Maisie and they will chase each other around the house for hours on end and they just love each other. I honestly think half the time he grew up kind of thinking he was a cat. <laughs> he really likes to knock things off the shelves. Knock over the candles again. Yep, there goes one. Wants to like smell everything and look at it, and if it doesn't really pique his interest, he's like, okay, I'm done with this, and he just shoves it off the shelf. Fergus. Oh, that one stayed on me. Fergus. He sleeps a lot. I think on average he probably sleeps 18 to 20 hours a day. But when he is awake, his favorite thing to do is to chase me and my husband around our house. <laughs> he loves to play chase and, and he loves to get tickled. I don't think that I would have done as well as I did like getting to a healthy mental point without him. He's such a funny little guy. He constantly makes me laugh. I've never had a bond with an animal the way that I've had a bond with Fergus. And I think he's just really taught me how to love unconditionally. I think there's kind of this mentality that ferrets are these like mean, stinky animals. You know, and I, I kind of believed that before I got Fergus. But I mean, that could not be further from the truth. They are the sweetest, most loving little animals. 